My name is Ann Fagan. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Curriculum and Instruction at Iowa State University. Progress monitoring is important in a response to intervention system because it provides teachers with the data that they need to make decisions about whether students should be moved between the different tiers. Teachers often worry that doing progress monitoring takes too much time away from their instruction. Another way to think about this is that progress monitoring gives us data on whether or not that instruction is actually working for students. Is the program that we're providing or the curriculum or the instructional strategies actually benefiting the students? And progress monitoring is the only objective way to gather that data. When schools use universal screening, there are often students who exceed that cut score by just a few points. In order to have the most confidence that we've identified the students who do need additional support, it's important to consider monitoring the progress of these borderline students so that if they do need intervention, we can provide that as early as possible. Because the data from universal screening represents a single score on a single day for a student, we know that that may not be a perfect or a completely accurate representation of that student's ability. As a result, it's important to monitor students who score just above the threshold for that cut score because it may be that they do in fact need supplemental or additional instruction. The recommendation of the math RTI practice guide panel is that educators continue to monitor the progress of students who score within one standard error of measurement of the cut score on the universal screening. Teachers who want to know more about what that standard error of measurement is should contact their assessment team within their district who can provide them with that information. Teachers often wonder how often to monitor students' progress. For students who are in Tier 2 or Tier 3, along with those borderline Tier 1 students, we would recommend that their progress be monitored at least monthly. In general, as teachers have more concern about students, they should monitor pro their progress more frequently. So it may be that students who are receiving Tier 3 instruction, which is more intensive and more individualized, may be progress monitored on even a weekly basis, where students in Tier 2 who are getting supplemental intervention may have their progress monitored once a month or maybe twice a month. Where progress monitoring assessments are very broad and cover the entire scope of instructional curriculum, curriculum embedded assessments are focused specifically on the instructional content that students are learning that day or that week. Both are important. Curriculum embedded assessments give teachers information about whether or not students are benefiting or learning from the intervention program. And most intervention programs include curriculum embedded assessments that teachers are to administer as part of the program. While these measures give important feedback to teachers about how students are doing learning that particular piece of the curriculum, what's missing is whether or not students are retaining information that was taught earlier in the year and generalizing skills that they've learned already to other concepts and skills that, as they're learning more advanced mathematics. Progress monitoring gives the bigger picture. It shows teachers whether or not students are improving generally, not just in narrow skills, but in their overall proficiency in mathematics. Progress monitoring is an important tool for teachers. We all know that there is no perfect intervention program or instructional strategy. And so progress monitoring gives teachers a way to know which students their instruction is working for and which students are not benefiting from that instruction. So by using this objective, efficient means of gathering data, teachers can adjust their instruction to best meet the needs of their students. <music>